very best Like no one ever was To catch them is my real test To train them is my cause I will travel across the land Searching far and wide Each Pokemon to understand The power that's inside Today our brave heroes Ash, Misty, and Brock are traveling on a journey to explore the wonderful land of Mammalian Physiology Lab, where they seek to learn about threshold and recruitment, conduction velocity, and refractory period. Little did they know they were about to encounter a fearsome foe. Are our heroes prepared to overcome the wrath of VIPN 105's legendary creature and save the world once again? Attack of the Sciatic Nerve! Hey Andy, I have a question. What? Sciatic nerve, froggy nerve Pokemon. A nerve found in the hind limbs of a frog. It is composed of type A alpha, beta, gamma, and delta fibers. It conducts action potentials using sodium and potassium channels. As an action potential travels down the nerve axon, there is a change in polarity across the membrane. When threshold is reached, the sodium and the potassium gated ion channels open and close in response to a stimulus. At the beginning of the action potential, voltage gated sodium channels, shown here in blue, open up and the sodium, represented by the Pikachu, moves into the cell, causing depolarization. Once that occurs, the membrane becomes inside positive and outside negative. As the sodium channels become inactivated or plugged up, the voltage-gated potassium channels, shown here in yellow, open up. Repolarization occurs when the potassium, represented by the Jigglypuff, moves out of the cell. With the removal of the pulse, the channels become deactivated. This creates a change in polarity between the outside of the cell and the inside. As the sodium ions diffuse further down the axon, the next sodium channel is activated and the action potential propagates down the axon. High Calcium, the sodium channel inhibiting Pokemon. It inhibits sodium channels by accumulating on the channels, making it harder for them to open. This decreases permeability of sodium. The calcium binds to negatively charged amino acids of the sodium channels exposed just outside the membrane. It accumulates on the channels, inhibiting the flow of sodium. One way calcium does this is by screening negative charges on the channel membrane, neutralizing them, and stabilizing sodium channels in their closed conformation, a phenomenon known as gate shifting. Calcium also inhibits sodium flow by accumulating in the channel port. The ion is thought to have a separate binding site on the lumen of the sodium channels. Occupying the lumen physically prevents sodium flux into the channel. The blocking leads to a decrease in sodium flow and a larger stimulus is required to fire an action potential. The effect is the nerve's threshold is increased. The increased threshold makes it less likely the neurons will be recruited for the cap. Less neurons contribute to the nerve's compound action potential and intensity of the max cap lowers. Also because sodium channels are blocked, it takes longer to depolarize the nerve, slowing down the rate at which action potentials can be generated hence a decrease in the conduction velocity of the nerve. Rapamil, calcium channel blocking Pokemon. It binds to an allosteric binding site inside calcium channels and causes them to remain inactivated. Most of the calcium channels in the sciatic nerve are located in the presynaptic terminal. 
there are very few calcium channels located in the axon of the sciatic nerve. Instead, the initiation and conduction of action potentials is dependent on the activity of sodium and potassium channels. As a result, verapamil had very little effect on the threshold, max cap, conduction velocity, and refractory period of the nerve. Sodium and potassium channel blocking Pokemon. It blocks voltage gated sodium channels, causing them to remain inactivated. It also blocks and delays the activation of voltage gated potassium channels. This decreases permeability to sodium and potassium. Amiodurum reversibly binds to allosteric binding sites on voltage gated sodium and potassium channels. By binding to sodium channels when they are inactivated, Amiodurum keeps these channels in their inactivated state. At a single time, a percentage of the sodium channels are blocked by amiodurone and cannot contribute to the depolarization of the membrane. Therefore, a larger stimulus is necessary to open up enough sodium channels for threshold to be reached. This increase in threshold also causes a decrease in conduction velocity because it takes longer for the membrane to be depolarized, reach threshold, and allow for propagation of the cap down the sciatic nerve. An increase in threshold potential and a decrease in conduction velocity were not observed in the experiment. Only a decrease in amplitude of the max cap was seen. This means that amiodarone does not bind to type A alpha fibers in the sciatic nerve in which threshold and conduction velocity experiments were measuring. They only bind to a combination of beta, gamma, and delta fibers, so fewer sodium channels are available on these nerve fibers. Therefore, fewer fibers are accreted upon supramaximal stimulus, resulting in a smaller cap. Amiodarone also binds to voltage-gated potassium channels, delaying the activation of these channels from opening. By further delaying the activation, the action potential duration increases, and repolarization of the membrane takes longer than normal. The absolute refractory period should increase as well, because repolarization is necessary to remove the inactivation of sodium channels. The refractory period did not change before and after treatment of amiodarone because the recording is not sensitive enough to detect minute changes. So, our brave heroes defeated the formidable sciatic nerve. Who knows where their adventure will take them next as they continue to explore the wonderful world of mammalian physiology. I want to be the best there ever was To beat all the rest, yeah, that's my cause Electro, Diglett, Nidoran, Mankey, Venusaur, Atata, Fero, Pidgey Sea King, Jolteon, Dragonite, Gastly Pony, Tavaporeon, Polyrath, Butterfree Gotta catch them all. Pokemon! I'll search across the land. Look far and wide.